Hello. So, now that I'm done reminding myself how I did this before, um, this is pretty much the same thing as the military has. But, to, I'm going to show you how to break this down, but I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. That way, when I'm done, I can just put it back together and put it back in its um, safe place. So, this is how, once you get it back together, you would get it back in there. Now, see, this part here, this part is going to go in. But before you can get it to go in, it's very important that you pull this out. Because if you don't, that bolt right there is going to prevent it from going back in. You just slide it in and lock it. Now, now that I've showed you how to get it back in, I'm going to show you how to get it out. This bolt right here. See right here? You just push it on the other side and it pops right out and then it opens. There. There's a little piece right here that this bolt goes through. That's what keeps it locked. Now, to take this thing apart. Now, there is a little screw right here, a little uh, thing right here. It's got um, space in it where you can put a little miniature screwdriver or a pin. Our pen, pencil, I'm about to break. Um, and you would, uh, this is new, so it's kind of stiff. Um, you would pull that out, just like so. Now, um, to get the next piece would be the silver piece. Comes out pretty easily. You just pull it down. It comes straight out. Now. To get the other piece out, because it's probably going to be facing that way, you want to turn it so the sides won't hit the top of this and prevent it from coming out. And it just pops out. And when you look at this, it has little holes in it. it has a little hole right here. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but see? There's a little hole. Keep that in mind when you're trying to put this back together. And then this piece pops out. Put it back together. You shove that piece back in there. You drop this down. So I always forget to do that first for some reason. That piece is back in there. No, no. I always do that. Sorry. My bad. Um, then you would just push that piece back in like so the big round piece and you would twist it to where this can go through that little hole that I showed you in that piece and it goes straight down like so then you would take this piece here and shove that back in. Now to get it back in the weapon, as a reminder, let me stand up and show you. Um, you want to make sure that this is pulled out because it won't go in otherwise. It'll, you know, when I first got this weapon I had to play with it for about an hour to figure it out. Um, what I was doing wrong and couldn't find out from my old training, it finally dawned on me that, you know, you gotta have that. Oops. Um, so, to get this in, you would angle it like so, and there's a little notch in there. You would take this, and it drops right down in. And you lock it. In place see here. Hopefully, there you go. Now it goes in. Then, to secure it, you would simply push that little knob back in. You would lock it, make sure everything's lined up, everything's where it's supposed to be, and 
close the flap. The reason you want to keep this closed is because it keeps the sand, it keeps the dirt, it keeps anything like that out of your weapon so you don't have to um, worry about it. While I have a little bit of time, I want to bring up an issue with people. People go buy these. And what they do is they want to go get the fancy sites that are electronic and, um, you know, you spend $300 on the site. I got this for 25 to 50 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for it. This is pretty much what they use in the military. It's just a clip on. It has a little screw thing on the other side. You, you put it wherever you want it. Um, my weapon I have right now is pretty dead on. Um, I took it out and was hitting targets like it was nothing. And that's what I have mine set on. If you can read it there. Um, so... Don't waste your money on fancy targets. This is just a simple, um, what I call black sights. Um, you can, I haven't really adjusted this gun at all, per se, but that's pretty much all it is. I don't have anything electronic on this weapon. I don't have anything overly priced because I wanted to stay pretty much to what I had in the military. And in the military, they don't give you the fancy sights. They don't give you electronic stuff because they want you to be able to learn to target your your and sight um, with skill and not with fancy electronics. Because the problem with the fancy electronic ones I've seen is they're very inaccurate sometimes. And um, my husband had one on his weapon and he ended up taking his off and just ordering one of these. And he's going to have to take it out and re-zero it because um, the electronic ones sucked it just did not work very well. It kept like falling off and stuff. So he's going to be getting one of these. It's um, like I said, 25 to 50 bucks depending on where you get them. And they work rather well. If it's good enough to keep the military on target, it's good enough to keep you on target. Um, you might have to forego, you know, the electronic stuff and, and saying you have a, what with all the fancy stuff I have on my gun. But this, is not a fancy gun. I don't keep a lot of stuff on my weapon because it weighs the weapon down. It makes it heavier and, and harder to shoot. So my advice is to just keep it simple. Stupid as I say. Um, don't add a bunch of stuff unless you just really want to show off in front of your friends. I actually took this weapon out the first time and shot it like a pro. Which I am, pretty much. But I went out and shot it at like a pro. But if I would have had all that other stuff on it, I wouldn't have hit the side of a barn. That's just my opinion. So, that's, you know, the old saying, keep it simple, stupid. Um, that's pretty much my philosophy on weapons. So, um, I hope this video helps. I hope I explained it well enough for you. And I hope that um, you can take this information and keep yourself and your family safe with it. Because, um... I really want to see every patriot, every American, every person that believes in the Constitution and what it stands for and the people that died to protect it and people who, like me, who went and served to protect it, um, honor and respect it and do whatever it takes to protect it from enemies who wish to destroy it and destroy our country in every way possible. So, hope this video helped. I hope it uh, educated you on how to take it apart, how to put it back together. Um, if need be, practice. That's what we did in the Army. Our, we sat in front of our first sergeant and just took it apart and put it back together for like an hour. And after a while, it just starts becoming muscle memory to you. Um, so, that would be my suggestion. So, hope this helps and you have a lovely day.